Hi, Lauren here again, one last time for part four of your new parent return and reunion brief. During this section, we're going to talk about what are some requirements that you have now that you're a military member with a child, as well as what are some resources that are available to you and your family now that you have a child and are a military member. So first, you need to keep in mind your family's readiness on the home front helps create readiness across the fleet. You want to make sure that your family members, including your children, are taken care of and have the resources that they need while you are away serving your country. The first thing you need to determine is if you are required to establish a family care plan. As a member of the Navy, you must be ready to deploy throughout the world on a short notice and be fully able to execute your military duties no matter what. You want to have a plan in place for how and who will take care of your children when and if you are called to service. The purpose of the family care plan is to ensure the proper care for your minor children as well as any adult family members that depend on you for care. It is your responsibility for initiating and developing a workable family care plan. So let's talk about who is required to have a family care plan in the Navy. If you are a single parent, you need to create a family care plan. If you are due military, you need to have a family care plan and each military member has to fill out a family care plan for each command. If you have a civilian spouse that has little or no command of the local language spoken, you should have a family care plan. If you have a civilian spouse who is unable to drive or gain access to basic life-sustaining facilities such as food or medical care, you should have a family care plan. If your civilian spouse has extended or reoccurring or other absences through their job and their career, you need a family care plan. These requirements apply to all active duty and ready reserve ranks and rates for all sea and shore commands. If you have any further questions about the requirements or how to create a family care plan, please feel free to reach out to your family care plan coordinator at your command, or you can even reach out to here, us here at Fleet and Family Sports Center to help you as well. Now, let's discuss some of those resources. And when I say resources, these are completely free resources that are available to you as a service member to help make the transition to parenting even smoother for you and your family. Take advantage of everything that is out there for you and your family. The first thing I'm going to talk about is Fleet and Family Support Center. We have what is called the New Parent Support Home Visitation Program. This is a free program that offers in-home support to all active due to service members and their families with children up to the age of four. They are able to come directly to your home to help you and your family maintain a strong and healthy family. Some programs that they offer when they come to your house include nutrition consulting, breastfeeding, early child development education, as well as some parenting skills. So, if you get back and you're interested in that program, make sure you give Fleet and Family a call. We can get you signed up with that program completely free of charge. We also at Fleet and Family offer four week parenting classes as well as an active duty pregnancy workshop if you're interested. We also have a ton of life skill classes to help enhance any skills that you might wanna work on as well. The next resource I'm going to talk about is Military OneSource. They're a great resource. They offer 24 seven worldwide support and have a ton of information for your parenting needs. So you can always give them a call, check out their website as well as their Facebook page. Another one that I like to recommend is Focus. That is Families Overcoming Under Stress. This program offers support to couples 
as well as families to help build on their communication and coping strategies. There is a focus located on 32nd Street um, by the commissary by our Fleet and Family Support Center. So if you have any questions about that, we can lead you in that direction as well. TRICARE, make sure your child is enrolled in TRICARE and receiving their benefits as they deserve. The CDCs and CYPs that are around San Diego, if you are needing childcare, you need to get on the list ASAP. There is a long wait list in San Diego and finding that childcare can be a hassle. So make sure that you look into the CDCs and CYPs as soon as possible. We also have WIC, which is Women, Infant, and Children Program. You do have to apply for this program and eligibility is based off of your income. Um, WIC provides vouchers, consulting, nutritional advice, as well as help support the pregnant or new moms and children under the age of five. Now, San Diego has a lot to offer. There are some special resources here in San Diego that are just in San Diego for military members. One that is great to look into is STEP, which is Support the Enlisted program. This program also focuses on the enlisted military members from ranks E1 through E6. They help with supplying any basic needs that you have, such as food, or they even do diaper distributions. They partner up with the food bank and do those food drives very often. You can check out their Facebook page and website as well. The USO San Diego is also another great location that we have here in, in San Diego. You have the location at the airport, but you also have the location down in Liberty Station. They offer a food bank as well, a farmer's market on the first and third Friday of the month. And any needs that you have, sometimes they also get supplies sent to their Liberty Station Center where you can pick up some food supplies as well. Now, these are only a handful of resources that are available here for you, for all the sacrifices for you and your family make every single day. If you would like any more information or guidance on available resources, please feel free to reach out to us here at Fleet and Family Support Center. Our phone number is 866-923-6478. You can also check out our Facebook page or our website. There's a ton of information out there as well. Just give us a holler so we can help you out. We are here to support you and to lend a helping hand. Once again, I want to say congratulations for completing a deployment as well as welcoming that new bundle of joy into your family. I thank you for joining me today and wish you the best in this new adventure of life. See you back home. Bye.